Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to use this biomechanical model of one of my athletes to discuss about a very critical component of being an athlete and a sprinter especially. And that's going to be hamstring injuries. I think it's no secret that the hamstrings are probably the most crucial muscle groups for a sprinter and they're very susceptible to high load and injuries. So hamstring injuries could occur for many, many reasons. They could be because of mechanical issues, fatigue, improper balance, improper warm-up. There's actually many, many. In this video, we're only going to talk about the biomechanical issues of hamstring injuries and how our biomechanics can lead to acute injuries, so a one-time strain or overtime uh, overload that can cause injuries or even problems in the future. This is a 10.3 sprinter. He never had injuries on the hamstrings yet, let's not jinx it. And I think it's a perfect example to show you how proper biomechanics can actually prevent overload and overuse of your hamstrings. So I'm gonna pause the video especially here in this point over here, exactly here in the previous frame. Now, in this point, what we can notice, we can notice that now the hip flexion has reached its maximum uh, level. So we have a femur which is parallel to the ground. Usually we don't need this height, we can also keep it a little bit lower, but this is a perfect example. So what happens in this point? As you can see, the hamstring muscles under the femur over here are reaching their maximal uh, stretch. In this point now, the hamstrings, they work as an elastic load, like a band. So they're storing elastic energy, this is called the stretch reflex, and they're gonna release this energy during the downward swing. So in this phase, the hamstrings are the dominant muscles to activate what is the downward swing of the leg. And we can activate the downward swing of the leg like in this way. So basically the hamstrings are the main muscles to activate the, the hip extension of the leg as soon as we reach the maximum hip flexion. And they slowly transfer the dominance of the swing towards the gluteus maximum. Usually about this level, now most of the dominance is, about, is on the gluteus maximum. So most of the injuries during the downward swing of the run occur in this portion of here. So from the max hip flexion, towards, let's say, midway towards the hip extension. So this is the most crucial part of injuries for the hamstring during the downward swing. Injuries can also occur during the hip flexion phase, so this portion over here, but today we're gonna talk only about this portion over here. And as I said before, in this position, the hamstring, which is overloaded with elastic energy, has reached a very big tension, a very big stretch of their muscles. And what does this mean? Now, the hamstrings, is a muscle that goes through both the hips and also the knee. So the knee level, so the knee angle over here influences a lot what is the tension of the hamstrings. So the wider the knee, the more tension we have on the hamstrings. I think that's kind of logical and understandable, easy to understand. What does this mean? That the more we open the angle of our knees, like in this way, the more of the tension that we already accumulated on the hamstring is going to increase. So the more tension we're going to have. The hamstring is a strong muscle, but they are not unlimited in absorbing tension. So the more tension we provide, especially high speeds, the more stress we create. So the more we open this angle over here and then perform what is the swing towards the ground, the more tension our hamstrings need to absorb and it need to overcome. We can notice over here, this is the correct position that an athlete should have. And probably many of you already heard the term, if you also watched my videos, about keeping the knee relaxed. The knee relaxed means basically keeping this knee over here in a more neutral position without activating too much what is the rectus femoris, so the quads muscles and the hamstring muscles. So without keeping the knee too wide close or too wide open. As you can see, the muscles are actually changing in tension as I move the knee like this. A lot of people, so this comes from the mistake that probably you heard about kicking. Kicking 
is a term of increasing the knee angle not in this moment more likely in this phase over here to open this knee angle like this by contracting what is the quads and rectus femoris and many people do this because they feel like they need to increase their stride length by trying to overreach so this is one probably of the many reasons of hamstring injuries and very common also because a lot of people try to kick to try to increase what is their stride length but in this scenario what happens you are actually not increasing your stride length most likely you're reducing it because one you're increasing tension in hamstrings so you're increasing also the risk of injuries but two you are increasing what is the distribution of mass of your leg the heavier your leg becomes the slower it will swing towards the ground like this rather than keeping the knee closer relax it and let it swing and extend by inertia now one of the most important aspects about running especially sprinting at max velocity is the fact that we are sprinting at a very high speed let's say 10 11 12 meters per second for elite athletes meaning that the foot velocity when it reaches the ground has to match these velocities velocity as much as possible the bigger the difference the more we're breaking and slowing down so Keeping a proper knee angle towards the downward swing is not only uh, a reason to avoid injuries, but it's also a way to try to match the velocity of the body moving forward with peak velocity of the foot on the ground. The injuries on the hamstring usually occur on the first portion of the downward swing of the leg. So let's say from a hip flexion like approximately 90 degrees to approximately Oops, wrong leg to approximately this part over here as because in this part the dominance of the extension transfer to the gluteus maximum so most of the injuries occur in this phase over here mainly because we want to increase what is the distribution of the mass over here as you can see in this portion over here I'm gonna show it one more time let's say over here as you can see you can actually see how the tension and the hamstring especially here it's increasing drastically the more I open the knee imagine that here the tension is already big imagine as more as we open if you have athletes kicking trying to increase their strike land don't you don't worry too much because it's very common I have a video on my YouTube channel, especially on the ankling phases and how to perform a proper downswing. you can check, where you can teach your athletes how to perform this movement and especially understand it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.